This video is sponsored by the Ultimate Freelancing Bundle by StudyWebDevelopment.com, which gives you everything you need to start your own freelancing business, including a 130-page in-depth guide, invoicing and client proposal templates, website templates, an SEO checklist, and much more. Visit the link in the description and use the code BRAD25 to get 25% off. Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I want to talk a little bit about some of the characteristics and, and personal traits that I think many great programmers have in common. Now, there's a couple things I want to mention before I start this. One, this is based on my own opinion from things that I've seen and learned over the years. And two, I'm not saying you have to have all these qualities to be a great programmer. I certainly don't. But if you have a few of them, then you're, you should be in good shape. Um, also, let me know in the comments what you think the most important quality is and if you have any that aren't on this list. I think that many different types of people can be programmers. I just think we all share some common specific traits. So I'm going to go over some of those. And these aren't in any particular order either. So first up, having patience. I think this goes for almost any tech field. Technology doesn't always do what we want it to do. Whether you're fixing computers or setting up networks or writing software, there's things that are going to go wrong and you're going to get set back. Things don't always go to plan. Sometimes you can get set back hours, days, even weeks. And sometimes it can be for the stupidest little thing. You might have some tiny bug deep in your code and then you'll fix that and you'll break two more things and then you'll break some other stuff. And it just you have to have a lot of patience to deal with with something like that. So I definitely think it's a it's a trait that um, I wouldn't say you really need, but it's fantastic to have. So next is being a problem solver. If you're someone that's curious, if, uh, that enjoys looking for solutions, this is a great quality to have. Even things other than code. If you're solu a solution-based person and highly logical, you're probably a natural when it comes to writing code. Now, for me, when it comes to programming, I love problem solving, but I wouldn't call myself a great problem solver in other areas of life. For instance, if my washing machine breaks or something, I'm not the type of person that wants to dig in and figure out what's wrong and go into all the inner workings. I don't really care. I'd rather just pay someone to fix it or buy another one. There are people that love to tinker with, with even that type of stuff, and, and I think that's a great quality. So I think personally I have this when it comes to code, but not with, with a lot of other things in life. So passion for what you do. This is probably my highest ranking on the list. I absolutely love programming. I love web development. There's absolutely nothing else I'd rather do for a career, and there's not a lot that I'd rather do, period. I mean, of course, spending time with family. Uh, I have a couple hobbies, but I love writing code. It's something that, that really relaxes me. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I could do for as long of a period of time. What else can you do for 16 hours straight and still enjoy? Um, now, I realize not everyone feels like this, and in no way am I saying that if you if you don't love programming for 16 hours straight that you're you can't be a great programmer of course you can there's some absolute geniuses that create amazing stuff but have little to no passion for it so i don't think it's required i think that it just it really helps you along especially if you're not naturally gifted in this type of thing um, i think that passion is really important and something that is a big part of of just my my skill set i guess i could say all right, so the next one is very relatable to being passionate, and that's having a love of learning. Okay, technology in general is always changing. I think that um, you know, keeping your your spot in this industry, you have to constantly learn and adapt. Um, if you hate learning new stuff, chances are you won't last very long. If you take a programmer from let's say 20 years ago and you throw them into a current developer role, the the most likely they're going to be completely lost. Um, they might be able to catch on quick, some of them, but chances are they're not going to know much because just so much has changed in, forget the last 20 years, just the last three or four years. Um, there's all different ways to learn. I actually have a video on my top 10 methods, but everyone learns in a different way. It doesn't matter which way as long as it works for you and um, you're able to gain more knowledge. You don't have to love to learn, but you do have to learn and uh, enjoying it really helps. So next we have being a team player, and this is definitely something that's going to help you in the industry. We're not 
in the 80s anymore where one or two guys can sit in their garage and create the largest software company on the planet. Technology has advanced so much that in order to build something substantial these days, you have to work with others. And if you butt heads too much or you're too arrogant, you don't take feedback well, um, you know, you're, you're kind of headed down the wrong path. So when you work at a company, you want to try and build relationships with the people you work with and kind of feed off each other and, and do great things together. Even if you're a freelance Lancer. You have to be a team player with your clients and consultants. Um, if you're a complete introvert like I am, you try and work on your communication skills every chance you get. So the next one is not being arrogant, and this is a, a, a big one for me. If, if you've watched my channel for a while, then you know I can't stand arrogant programmers. I think that they, they just taint the industry. Um, people think people that think they know it all, even if they're extremely smart. Um, if you think you know it all, in your mind, there's nothing else to learn, really. Um, that's going to affect your progression. Arrogant people don't work well with others and may even be rude to their coworkers. I think that it's important to be confident in your skill set and to speak up when you have a solution and so on. But there's no need to be cocky about it. Um, and definitely no need to try and make others feel bad because they made a mistake or because they didn't do something in a way that you would have done. Um, this isn't just relevant in programming, but in life in general. Okay, you want to be confident, but don't be arrogant and cocky. So next is being proud of your work. And this one relates to confidence and, and really pertains to beginners. I see a lot of really new developers that are very timid, um, that seem like they're, they're not completely sure if they're in the right field. And I, I can completely relate to this. My grades in school were mediocre. I always had a knack for technology, but I was never really great at math, stuff like that. Um, at 16, if you told me that I would be a web developer and then go on to actually teach it, I'd say you were crazy. So, um, however, once I found that passion, I started to realize that I can do this. I think for most of you guys that feel this way, um, as long as you really love what you do and this is what you want to do, then you're going to have a moment where you realize that you are a developer and you are good enough. Um, so even if you're just starting out and all you've done is create a couple static websites or a to-do list or something like that, be proud of that. You know, you built that. Not everyone can do that stuff. Non-developers are amazed by a simple landing page. So be proud of anything you build. Um, even if it's following along with a course and it's some course project, you know, you went through that and you completed it, so you should be proud of it. Um, you know, even if it's not the best code, don't worry about it. You'll keep learning and everything you build, um, you know, as you build more, it'll be better and better. So with any area of programming from machine learning to building WordPress plugins, being good at managing tasks and, and, and good time management is definitely going to help you out. You're going to get new tasks thrown at you daily, uh, hourly, whatever. Once you finish a task, it opens up two more that need to be done. Uh, if you're someone that's really unorganized and all over the place, you're going to find it very hard to focus on what you need to do. So try to find a system that works for you. Um, including, you know, task and project management software. Don't keep everything in your head. Um, it's also important to to uh, have a good estimate of the amount of time that something's going to take you. If you're off too much, it'll completely ruin your your workflow. Um, so judging the time it takes is a is a skill in itself. Um, when it comes to freelancing and running your own business, this isn't just a good quality; it's a needed quality because there's no one else there to pick up the slack. Uh, everything is, is on your shoulders. So this is definitely something you need if you're going to freelance. So next we have being able to focus or having good focus. And I know that the amount that we can focus can change rapidly. Um, some days we might be in the zone for the whole day. Sometimes we get nothing done in a day because of our lack of focus. Um, a ton goes into to why this is. You have your personal life, emotional issues, uh, they can make it hard to focus, lack of sleep, bad diet, um, the list just goes on. So you may have weeks or month where, months where it's hard to focus. Uh, we all go through that, and I don't think anyone's perfect at this, but the more you can concentrate on what needs to be done and you can execute your tasks, the better, um, the better off you'll be as a programmer. So it's important not to let stuff distract you if you can help it. 
All right, so the last one is the ability to listen to and, and learn from others, and this really fits in with being a team player. But more than that, it's utilizing people as a learning resource, which I think is actually one of the best resources. Um, I've done freelancing, I've done company work, I've done, it, of course, now education. And even though uh, I'm not really a people person per se, I, I learned a lot from other people. There's a certain type of education you get from working with other developers that you can't get in a, a tutorial or an online course or something like that. It's real workplace experience. Um, and a lot of you guys know I'm not a big fan of college just because of the high price and the low teaching aspect of it. However, working with your peers and instructors and, and learning from them, that's invaluable. I think that's one of the best parts of going to school uh, or a boot camp for that matter. So if you're someone that can listen and be open to new ideas and take feedback, that's definitely a plus. Uh, when it comes to being a programmer. All right, guys, so those are some of the important traits and qualities that, that I believe it takes to be a really great programmer. Again, you don't need to have all of these, of course. Um, if you can relate to half of these or more, I think you're in really good shape, at least in my opinion. But that's it, guys. If you, you know, have anything else you want to add to this list, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, one of the best, if not the best resource I can refer you to for starting a freelance business is at studywebdevelopment.com slash freelancing. The creator Kyle shared it with me and I can personally vouch that this bundle is well worth it. You get a 130 page guide to freelancing and it comes with things like invoice templates, client proposals, HTML and CSS templates, a portfolio website, access to a private Facebook community and much more. So use the code BRAD25 to get 25% off today.